Today, we're pulling the stock motor from a 99 Miata 10th Anniversary Edition. It's stock, but it has a turbo on it. You can follow along, but just keep in mind that just because we do it this way doesn't mean it's the only way to do it, or even the right way to do it. Jumping in at step two, which is removing all the easy to reach accessories on the top. Plug step in. one was removing the radiator, but really it should have been something else you'll see later. And of course, this is gotta come off. Friend of the channel, Josh is here helping out and we'll call 911 if something falls on me. Oh, oh, these are long. What? I did not expect that. Oh, okay. Coming down on you now? Yes. That's why I said don't take them all the way up yet. Well, I didn't. But well, it's starting to move a little bit, so now you know. Yeah, now I know. About to drop a transmission on my face. Oh, I hit the crossbar thing. It hits the crossbar thing. I think once it gets up, though, I think it's gonna. Nope, just gonna push. Uh, we got that unplugged. I don't know what it is, but there's another one. This one I need a 10 mil, and I cannot get to it with a socket. 10 mil. Oh, removed all the plugs. There's three sensors, unplug their wires on the bottom, and then removing ship linkage. Have to remove center console. Oh, what is this aftermarket nonsense? You have ads on YouTube? Got the shifter out. Oh, it's just protection. Hole. Oh, yeah. We're putting a glove over the hole so that we don't get bits. Bits falling in there. I got a floppy, floppy bit here now. Okay. That sounds like a stripper hole. No. That's the. It's got a washer that's all flopping around. Uh. It's hard to see yep. what's going on here, but I will be removing the bolts from the drive shaft and rotating okay, the that, tire to turn the drive shaft works. so I can get the ones on each that side. That way I can get to each yep. bolt. Or the size of them. All right, you just help me remember. Okay, uh, rotate the wheel. Well, if you had your, uh, your GoPro and said there's 17s in the rear end, then you'd see, bam, there's 17s. Hey, there's 14s in the rear end. The, the, well, the 17s are for the bracket cover thing. Oh, okay. No, what have I done? They're so long, oh my god. Got engine hoist on. We're not really pulling it yet. We're just going to hold the weight of it. And we're getting stuff ready, disconnected. Pulling the power steering fluid. We're removing the sway bar. And I misremembered. Did you see that? Yeah, I got it. It is. Now I'm. It's not this. Did I pull your alternator? Oh, uh, that sounds important. Okay. Oh. All right, motor mounts are no longer motor mounts. Now they're motor stand. You got the battery disconnected and everything? Uh, nope. The first thing you're supposed to do is disconnect the battery? That, I believe that it is the first thing you're supposed to do. Safety third. Oh yeah, all right, so I'm gonna take this last bolt out, but I'm gonna try to not be under the transmission. Yeah, I, mean, I got tension on, the, uh, I know. on it. Okay, okay. Yeah, there's not like weight anymore. Like this big bracket thing we've got off. See? This sits on top like a C. And then I've got it off the diff in the rear. This took a lot of prying to get this thing off. And then I've got the drive shaft so I can pull the drive shaft back. And pull it out of the transmission, which is nearly out. Uh, okay, but we're getting a so now you got a oil pan, a, a sludge pan. Oh, it's dripping. Awesome. Oh, wait. Um, uh, ah, 
now we are out. Our drive shaft completely separate from the car now. All right, this way. I'll put it up. Oh, can you shimmy it over your head? There you go. Kind of hanging on some. I, uh, I don't know. Just one, drop one end through there, and I'm going to hook it. That's a, no, 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 no. Not that. Just a little bit. Okay, pull it back. Pull it back. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa there, buddy. Hold on. Okay. You're hooked onto this brackety thing now. Alright. <laughs> oh. We're Hold on, there's some wires here. Looking for things that might still be connected. This goes right. Uh fine. Unhook this. Not unhook what? Got to the clamp or your host clamp or your host part. I'm not sure. Okay, unplug some more stuff. So now we have some we have room. Get angle or hit the uh, the angler dangler and make the angler dangler. Use a, uh, And the engine is out. Stay tuned for the next video where we will prepare the new engine that's going to go back in the Miata.